Correct friends. So now you have, we have already discussed Ohm's law. Okay. So if you remember the Ohm's law, that is, uh, uh, you know, if you take a conductor, if you take a conductor, and uh, <coughs> if <coughs> you are passing certain current through the conductor, if you are passing certain current through the conductor. So here you see, I will take the conductor in the form of a. I will take the conductor in the form of a and take the this one and take a small piece of material which has got certain resistance say R hmm? and in this supposing I am able to pass certain current right? in this supposing of course this resistance will be a part of a bigger circuit I will draw the circuit now assume that there is a conductor and it has got some resistance so I am representing the resistance in a conductor by this symbol and assume that certain current I is passing is passed through the Sorry. through the resistance. resistance right then what happens it will develop a it will develop a potential difference it will develop potential difference between these two parts correct hello yes. and develop certain potential difference right so what do I do here hmm? so here I will keep an emitter and here I will connect a voltmeter. So voltmeter is connected across and the current meter is connected. Hmm? The current meter is connected <coughs> in series. I hope all of you can know this. So you have an emitter here and then so the current is still flowing through the emitter and then you have a voltmeter. Okay? So this voltmeter, hmm, this will give you some value. Okay? This voltmeter will give you certain value. So let's say the voltage across the resistor is Vr. Voltmeter will give you certain reading. So red third reading be Vr. And the current reading meter will give certain reading. So let that current be <coughs> Okay. Now you can increase or decrease this current. You can increase or decrease this current. So if you increase this current, what will happen to the voltmeter reading? <coughs> it will also increase. And if you decrease this IR, decrease. that voltage will decrease. So that means now this, the potential difference across this is dependent on the current that is flowing through that. Hello. The potential difference depends upon the current that is flowing through this. So, the potential difference, if you take this as a physical variable, it depends on, <coughs> it depends on the current through the resistor. The voltage across depends on the current through the resistor. So, this is a dependent variable, this is an independent variable. Dependent variable and independent variable. Huh. So that means now if I increase this current, this voltage is increasing. If I decrease this, this voltage is decreasing. Now that means there is this uh, dependency of the voltage across to the current through it. There is dependence. Okay? Now the question is, question is how is the dependence? How is the dependence? Is it directly proportional, inversely proportional? We have to find out. That is basically what we have to experimentally find out. So what Ohm's law states, hmm? so the current through a conductor <coughs> okay, or the potential difference across a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it. So Ohm's law says the potential difference across a conductor is directly proportional to the current through the resistance. See, you please understand this. Dependency could have been Vr is proportional to I. See, for example, now power. Power dissipated is proportional to I squared. It is not proportional to I. Hello. So, like that, you know, dependency can depend upon you know different ways. It can be I to the power of 3, I to the power of 2.5, or something like that. But Ohm has proved that the dependency is simply this. And now experimentally we have to determine. Experimentally, we have got to determine this. Okay, so the experimental setup that you see here is <coughs> having an emitter. You can read here. Hmm? You can read here. There is emitter. There is emitter. Right? Hello. Yes. Yes. Sir. 
and <coughs> there is voltmeter. Okay, and you can see here that uh, you can come and see here in the this one. I will tell you to get a pen and see. So this resistor is connected. So this meter, what you see here, this meter is <coughs> this voltmeter, and this meter is this. Okay, so this meter is this current. Sorry, not voltmeter. <coughs> So this meter is this meter is representing the ammeter, and this meter is representing what the voltmeter. And I have connected a small resistor here on a breadboard, and that is this resistor. Okay, hello, are you all with me? Yes, sir. Now you can have a physical view of this whole thing. You will not come here. Now let me explain this to all. Okay, <clears throat> then I want to vary the current. So what I have done here. Basically, I have taken a power supply. So, <clears throat> uh, what you see here, hmm? you can see here. Voltage. This is a voltage, voltage source. source. This is a voltage source. So, this is this voltage source. So, this voltage source is this. Right now, I have set it to approximately 5.9 volts or close to 6 volts. You can take it 6 volts. Okay, so you can say it's six volts power supply. Okay, and then <clears throat> what I have done here is I have connected your favorite instrument. What is your favorite instrument? Resistor. You love that resistor, no? All of you. Right. Somehow you know all fallen in love with it, mainly because of the name. Because I remember my student days also. It was really jazzy, and I also wanted to see what is that rheostat. Okay, like how all of you were inquisitive, so the rheostat is in front of you. Yesterday, uh, many of you were present, and uh, you had a feel of that rheostat. Kaya get the Indian word But those of you who were not there, you have only seen the video. Okay, done. Anyway, today you can put put your hands on that and see. So this rheostat, as you know, has got three terminals. <coughs> so this is A. Hmm? This is B and this is terminal C. So terminal C is sliding. Okay. So now uh, here I am going to connect this point to this. I have connected this point to this. So that means now you see. Hmm? That means now uh, and then what I have done is this uh, move equal. Okay. What I have done is this point I have connected to this point. So essentially now in this connection what you will see is the conventional current will start flowing like this. It will flow through this part of the rheostat, come here, go through the emitter, go through the resistor and go back into this. This is what will happen. Hello, are you with me? Yes, sir. Uh, so this voltmeter will measure the voltage across this. Uh, now here you see, here you see this slider I can move it up and down. The rheostat slider I can move it up and down. So, if I move this up and down, then this current IR will change. What did I say? If I move this, this current IR will change. Okay? This current IR will change. That is, if I move this on top, that is, if I move it in this direction, the current will increase. If I move this in this direction, the current will decrease. You know, if I move it in up direction, the resistance of the rheostat will decrease between point B and C and uh, A and C. And if I move it downwards, the resistance of the rheostat will increase, so the current through the circuit will also decrease. This is typically the arrangement that you can see here. Clear? Huh. Of course, <coughs> here, uh, just give me this voltmeter. Yeah, slowly, slowly. Huh. Okay. So, this is the analog voltmeter, and this is the analog galvanometer. You can convert a galvanometer into ammeter. This is analog. Analog means there is a stylus which will move. Now, I am using what is called as a multimeter. So, as I have told you, this multimeter, if I adjust like this, it will become a voltmeter. If I adjust like this, it will become a emitter. emitter. So, one I have adjusted for emitter, other one I have adjusted for voltmeter. Huh. But for you in your school exam and all, you must draw voltmeter and emitter. You must not draw multimeter. Understand? Huh. You must draw like this. That is the convention. That is what you have to do. Okay, huh? so this is the arrangement. Any questions you have got on this? 
Hello. No. Sure. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. All right. So as I have explained to you, now we will be conducting the experiment. Okay. So first and foremost, as I told you, this is multimeter. You have to set it properly before you start because if you interchange voltmeter to ammeter, ammeter to voltmeter, then your experiment will not work and sometimes it will be dangerous. Okay. Okay. So I am going to set this to ammeter. And I'm going to set this as what we did. Okay, I set this to, and now uh, you see there is a right. Okay, now I'm going to switch on. Right. Uh, now you can see that the current is 20.2 milliamperes, and the voltmeter reading 5.29. Okay. Uh, now wait. Don't take the readings. Now you see if I Vary this rheostat. Now you see I have kept it to the maximum position, means the resistance is very very large. Okay. Now I am going to, I am now increasing the current. You can see. Yes. Huh? Yes. I am increasing the current. So if I increase the current, you can see the voltage across <coughs> the resistance is also increasing. It was 52, it became 55. The current was something like 20, it has now become 20. 20. Now if I further increase the current. 56.9. Understood? Huh? Okay. Now, so we will take the readings. That means the experimental setup is working. Right? So, first you have to ensure that the experimental setup works. Okay? Huh. Now, take down the reading. So Hope all of you have the circuit diagram and also the tabular column which I had explained in the class. The first reading 52.7. So, 5. Point Two six volts. Okay, and what is the current reading? Twenty point two milliamps. Right? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, now I will now. Now you see next reading. Twenty point seven milliamps, and the voltage is five point four one. Five point four one. Four two. Correct. Taken down? Yes, sir. Okay, now. Okay, now. Current is 21.1 milliamperes and the voltage is 5.52. Alright? Yes, sir. Ah, now. One more is huh. now the current is twenty one point seven five point six seven twenty one point seven fifty six point seven five point six five point six seven sorry five point six seven rupees. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Now I'll turn off. Right. Now what you do? Voltage divided by current. If you have a calculator, you do. Otherwise, I will do it for you. Okay? Voltage divided by Voltage divided by current, you have to do. Okay, I will do it uh, because you don't have calculator. I will do it for you. Right? Okay. Now, give me the first reading. What is it? 5.26 divided, divided by 20.2. Divided by? 20.2. Don't tell me again. 20.2. 20.2. Okay, okay. Now this is we have divided the voltage by milliamps current. So you got here two sixty point three. This divided by three gives you two sixty point three. Barile, this divided by this two sixty point three. I did it here. Okay, I did it in the calculator. Okay, huh. now give me the next reading. Twenty five point four two. Wait, one way. Twenty five point five point two. 5.42 divided by 20.7. 20.7. Okay, you can see here, I got here 261.8. 261. You got 261. Put it? Yes. Huh. 
Heard it? First we have got 260 point something. Three. Ah, now we got 261. Eight. Okay. Next. Next reading. 5.52 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. divided by 21.1. 21.1. 21. 1. 1. 1. You get 261.6. 261.6. Decreased from 261.6. Got it? Huh. Next one. 5.67. Divided, divided by 21.7. 1 of it. 21.7. Okay? Right. So you get here 261.2. 261.2. Next one. Okay? Ah, now you see you are taken the ratio of the you are taken the ratio of the voltage across to the current through. And you have got the result almost 261. That means this ratio is constant. Hello, understood? So, the ratio is constant. So, this is what Ohm's law is all about. That is, the current is, the voltage across is directly proportional to the current. Provided the temperature of the resistance will not change. Okay? So, we are trying to maintain that. Right? We have kept very little current. So, the temperature is not increasing. So, I have shown you with one more resistor where the temperature had increased and therefore the readings were not stable. Because the temperature was increased. Clear? Okay. Now, uh, any questions here? Well, that here it is the negligible. Negligible. It is negligible. That is why because of the temperature increase and some other. So, there is a margin of error. Always in experiment, you know, there is certain amount of degree of accuracy with which you can do. It depends upon the meter, the wires, the connectivity and also the temperature. Here the main culprit is temperature. Okay. Uh, any questions? No, Hello. No questions? Uh, now, you can come and do the experiment yourself, each one of you. First series you come, you, uh, you first see you uh, see the setup, all the setup, all of you study the setup. You can see how the wires are there, etc, etc. Right. Okay, study the setup. Right. Okay. Now, I will turn off. Right. Huh. So, I turn off. You can see the voltage. Now, you can gently move the reverse step. Move the rear side. Huh. Hold it. Hold it. Huh. Huh. Right. You hold it here. You should hold it here. Huh. Right. So you can see the variation of the current and the voltage. Can you see? Yes. Sir. Huh? Yeah. So that is what you have got to experience. And look at the connections, etc. It will be like this. Okay? Understood? Any questions? Uh, no. You will not get shocked. Because actually, if it was high current, then you would have got shock. Because I am using only 6 volts here and very less current, you are not feeling the shock. But actually, if you touch it, through you, some current might be flowing. But it is negligible, so you are not getting the shock. Right? Uh, but if you are using high voltage and if you are touching it, then God save you. Don't do it. Okay. But this is a conductor and this is also a conductor. Try avoid touching those points. But this is an insulator. Avoid. But sometimes you touch also nothing will happen because it is 6 points. Okay? Done? Okay, you go. Next set, come. Come. Next set of students. You can move it, see it, check all the connections. Oh, one of you hold it. One of you move it. <laughs> Loud. Loud. Is it decreasing the uh, ah, resistance? So, resistance. here it is, here it is 0. Now it is increasing. Now the resistance is increasing. So, you can see now, resistance is increasing, the current should decrease. See, the current is decreasing as the resistance is increasing. Okay? Can you feel that? Yes. Clear? Good. Come. This real stat is having 0. Okay, now I am increasing the resistance. So as I am increasing the resistance, you can see the current is decreasing. Yeah, 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 do it. It's for you. Touch it and do. Feel it. All of you do. All of you conduct the experience. Zero. Zero. Zero Allah. Other loose connection. Ah, yes, you are done. You can go unless you have some questions. You can see? Resistance will increase. 
right? And, and the current, current will decrease. decrease. The resistance is increasing, current is decreasing. So, if you have any questions, you can ask. Yes, yes, please come. It is for you only. It is related to what? Come here, come here. Ask. You ask and go. Well, because you got it. Come here. Huh. Come, Aditi, you also try. Which question? So, this is the resistor which I have taken. Come close. Okay, this is the resistor that I have taken. Huh. This color. Huh. So, now I have to understand what is the value of the resistor. So, now you can see here, come closer. So, there is red, violet, and brown. So, red stands for 2. Violet stands for 7. Right? 2, 7. And brown here, last one. Brown stands for 10 into 10. So, 27 into 10, 270 volts. What is it? 270 volts. And then you see one more band there. Okay, your last one band. Okay, that is white color. Okay. So, in this, the resistance is different. So, 